Then I'm gonna take higher pen reds because Zig's auto attacks a lot in lane for her ass. Fire AP Quince, armor yellows, and scaling AP blues. And my masteries are gonna be 21 0 9. Uh, Kaiser is not a champion that's gonna pressure me that hard early game, so I don't feel like I need defensive masteries to crush him. Um, and actually, I want AD over AP. So 21 0 9. Ignite, tax speed, scaling AP. Um, I took AD because I'm laying with a melee champion who is Morikaiser, so I can use that AD earlier on in the game for a higher success rate in terms of harass potential. Um, yep, Morikaiser mid, I believe. Or it could be Morikaiser top and Jay mid. Whereas, if it was that, I'd probably have wanted AP, the AP Masteries, but it's not that big of a deal. And then I just finish out the offensive tree, and I throw 9 points in the utility tree um, to get the buff duration and the mana regen, because Ziggs is all about having mana and spamming his abilities. But yeah guys, I'm loading into the game right now. I'm going to play an Andrew fast. Don't forget to check out uh, PassionGenome.com. Help support our sponsor Nissan and help support us. Uh, thanks for watching guys. I'm going to be right back playing a Ziggs mid game using the pool party skin, which is too fun. And I'll see you all soon. Alright guys, what's up and welcome back to the stream. I'm playing some Ziggs mid. I believe I'm going versus Mordekaiser. Yep. He has no MR blues. He took, uh, oh my god, I missed my first bomb. He went defensive masteries though, so I can get a decent amount of damage on him, off on him, but not that much. Damn, he keeps oh, he keeps running past my keys. I I, th I keep thinking he's gonna like jump backwards, but he keeps just walking up. Oh my god, I missed three in a row. That's so bad. He should be so chunked right now. I right, actually hit him with one. Thank God. Um, I might look for an, a level two kill combo on him with ignite. So I keep poking him with autos and ignite. Pop a health pot. A little, little on mana here. Early game with Ziggs, you have a lot of kill potential. You just want to keep poking your enemy with auto attacks. And, oh my god, I'm playing so bad this game. Creeps coming into turret. Go for this one. This guy has three health pots left. I think I'll wait for level 3 before I keep harassing him. He's got too many health pots. I'll end up going um if I keep wasting bombs. Uh, I got a little bit of damage off there. It's worth. Alright, I'm going to take my next point in my Q, level 3. Yeah, he gets so much shield. So Q for that CS. Oh, the ignite finished me off. I killed all the creeps before I died, though, and he flashed for it, so I think that's worth. Um, 8 30 more flash. I still have flash out. We traded ignites there. I'll take that. Um, let's see. Damn, I can barely not afford a chalice. That's unfortunate. Get Duran's ring, boots, award, and two health pots. And my W, so I can get back to lane faster and run back mid. is a really easy gang target now. Um, I would have came out so far ahead on this lane if I didn't waste so much mana and missed so many of my Qs early game. Ziggs is really skill shot dependent. Three of my Qs, like the first three I shot out, I just completely overshot them, which is really sad because those are not ones I should be missing. When he's just walking up to me. Should be dead. I'm gonna hold my W a little bit. Good job. It's a really good flash cocoon. He knew Markizer had no flash, so he just went for it. If he just waited for me to either get my slow or my W to prime it, he probably wouldn't even have to flash for the gank because he could have just repelled onto the, the Markizer. But that ended up getting the kill and it required minimum effort for my part so always appreciate when junglers go above and beyond to help secure the ganks. Markizer has 18 CS right now. I have 29. Well ahead of this lane. Should have been doing much better um, but it's what, it is what it is. I'm going to ward here and look to maybe steal their wraith here real quick. One more Q should do it. Wait for that. So close. 
Alright, Warcraft's level 5 now. I'm about to hit level 6. Just gonna poke him from a distance with my keys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Double Duran's ring. Get a decent amount of mana back every time I get a CS. I realized I was gonna miss those creeps on the turret, so I just W to finish that one off, and I propelled the other two back away from the turret so that I wouldn't miss I wouldn't miss them. Guys are still here. I'm my ultimate. He doesn't have his. Not gonna really use that to my advantage too much though. I'm just gonna poke him with keys. If he gets low enough for a combo, then I'll look for something, but I'm not gonna force it. I don't feel like it's there. And I warded left side, so I'm gonna hug it so I don't get ganked. Looking for poke on the creep wave. Didn't have mana for my all. I got really low on mana there. My is up soon, but I just decided to go for it. Oh, he totally could kill this guy. Barely live. Yeah, I didn't think I had the damage to kill him, but went for it anyway. It was pretty close. He got his W shield off too. I'm gonna push this wave up and go back. Oh, I missed that one. Whatever, it's fine. So I'm by here. More guys back mid. Probably needed this wave to be held. Oh, she's moving by. Whatever, it's fine. Let me go for Athenes. Just too good on Ziggs. Um, I feel like their jungler is so far behind. I don't even to need to buy wards versus him. I'd rather just have the pots and the extra amp to to dominate my lane harder. Who's <laughs> uh, up? Darwin is bot. He's kind of desperate looking for ganks. He should just be trying to farm and hit level 6, I think. Mistake on his part. I'm gonna move towards our blue. Uh, what? What is that? This guy's pretty low. Just gonna look to go hard on him to harass. I'm not sure why he keyed it. It was like so low, and he had Spear of the Ancient or the Spear of Spectre. Right? All right, it's not a big deal. Blue buff would have made me like so strong right now, but it's understandable. He was doing second himself to do on Sharon since early on. I'm gonna look to wreck their turret. All in looks like they need help. I'm gonna look to roam bot. Orkai is missing too. I'm assuming he backed. Uh, I was doing jungle raids. Or jungle camps, whatever. Alt's up in five. Yes, run through the bombs. Hey, it's the boy. I'm missing CS mid, but I got two kills out of it. I'm fine with that. More guys could be swinging, yes. Attacks the spot lane a little bit for killing them. Hey, I got it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna back here. I have too much gold. Got a Thien's, I'm gonna get a ward and head back mid. Yeah, I'm so thankful we have 28 ping right now. We had to cancel two sets of scrims today because we were like, we had like 130. It was awful. And I know you guys might be like, wait, I play with like 150 every day, but the problem is when you get accustomed to playing the game at the highest level on a certain set of conditions, be it ping, be it like FPS, be it sound, whatever, you just have to play with that if you want to compete. And it like it's it's it was definitely like too hard for us to play on, um, but I got Athenes now. More Kaiser's missing. Maybe he's doing race. I'm gonna check it. I'm like so strong right now. I can just go whatever and do whatever I want. I'm gonna go ward deep on their raids. Check their red. Oh, it's up. I know it's up because when I throw my Q. Oh wait, the little one. The only the little ones are up. Because when I throw my Q, it doesn't bounce. Like right here, it bounces. 
it the first time I threw it, it didn't bounce because the little the little red things were still there. Um, so that way you know if a buff is up or if you hit someone or something like or something like that. Um, there are certain conditions that cause it not to bounce. Like if you land it inside of a wall, it just explodes immediately. But if, if you land it on like terrain or something, that it'll it will always go and bounce if it doesn't hit a target. So that's how you like can know if something happens. Uh, just throw bombs at this guy. Try to harass him. Here, just gonna run at him. It's pretty low, but I don't have mana to kill him. Hey, it's pretty low, man. I'm just gonna let it regen back up. Game's nine to five. I think we're doing pretty well. Jax is like going hard top two. I think as long as we don't do anything too crazy, we should be able to win this game. I was trying to cancel Darwin out of his W, that's why I threw my satchel charge here, but I was too slow, and he lived. Oh, what the heck, why is Jay Smith? Alright, pretty weak. Eh! Oh, I missed. I actually should have kept walking up, I probably could have queued him there. So, um, help me, God. I'm gonna fight this, even though I know I shouldn't. Okay. He walked through my bombs, and I got enough hand to cue him, so I just wanted to fight. Take Wraith Cannons and go back real quick. He wasted a flash there, too. My flash was still down. That's good for me. Alright, here. Let's see. Their team is, has no real MR. I think I'm just gonna pick up Source Shoes, sell my health pot, and wait for like 10 gold and get a blasting on. I'm gonna smack my teammate with some love cues. Start running. Oh, I'm, I walked too fast off my W. I wasn't really paying attention since I opened the shot. By my head back mid here. And just try to continue dominating the game. Um, going off really hard. Six and one. I need to get blue buff though. That'd be oh my god, it's up. Yes, I got my blue. I'm so happy. At least I actually stole the first one of the game, so I'm really excited that I can get this one. Uh, Forty percent CDR. I just got a really big power spike in finishing sword shoes, and uh, my blasting on. So I'm just gonna be looking to like pressure mid really hard and maybe look to like bait out like one B threes or one B fours. I'm pretty sure I'm that strong right now compared to their team. Uh, bot? That guy's definitely snipeable. Uh, he just didn't walk at all in the direction I was ulting. There. <laughs> yep, we can get this turret. Zeke's so passive is on a base 12 second cooldown, but every time you use an ability it goes down by 4, so you can really just get that thing off cooldown so fast if you're just spamming your spells, you know, 40% CDR and stuff. You can be used to jump over a lot of different walls. Obviously not like these, but most normal walls that you can like flash over, you can get over with his his W. Mm -hmm. Basically, just launches you in the direction based on where you're standing relative to the center. Hang mid. Just got a uh, Neostar Rod. Almost 300 AP at 15 minutes. Really, really strong. Got both summers up. Blue still has about. 40% duration. I'm excited to go hard with this. Uh, uh, 
that's a big wave vibe. I'm just going to lock down ult it because my ult's on a 6 10 cooldown. Should be able to clear out the whole wave. I'm going to aim at the the melee creeps and hope hopefully the AoE gets the range ones. Yep. Perfect. Head back mid. This guy is a BT, but it's pretty weak. Just dashed in. Oh, I should have waited for him to try to grab it. Like, go mad life style on him. Cancel the, the, the Thresh Lantern, whatever. My bad. That guy's just standing there. Raven got the kill, so he gets the bonus gold. Very nice. So I zone them off with my boons. Oh no. I got one try. I should have just flashed. I was greedy with my ultimate, or my, my flash cooldown. My bad. I, I didn't think that hook was going to hit. It was pretty close to the max range, but I could have easily just gone away after it hit me. My bad. Alright, we got mid in him. Timing that. We know when it comes up, that means we know our, what our window of opportunity on super creeps and side lanes pushing for us and stuff are. I'm gonna sell my Duran's ring, get a death cap here, and a blue, and a red pot. Or a health pot, technically. Not a red pot. And I'm heading back mid. Mm -hmm. So I definitely shouldn't have died there. Don't have to be too greedy with your summoners. Just pop it if you think you're in danger of dying or something. I'm gonna W here. Launch me to victory. Mm -hmm. They might be fighting mid. I'm in all range now. Hold it. Oh, you got that kill. Well, they really need to use it for anything there. Jax got them all. I actually think Jax's Q damage, got, it did the double Q damage bug there. I think the Darwin EQing away actually counted as a, as the knockback of Jace or whatever happening. Turret's on me. Fair, please get off me. Hey, that wasn't overkill at all, no. <laughs> Alright, we got this. Just gonna bomb inside their base. Drop my ignite. Good game. Start off to early lead. I went on tilt very hard early on because I missed like three Qs in a row, but then I slowly got back into it. Um, came out ahead off the, the ignite trade. And then, yeah, we traded kills, but I was up in CS and he was down in EXP because the lane was pushing towards him. And at least just came mid. You're playing Mordekaiser mid. You don't have flash. You're going to die to any sort of like hard CC jungler gank. At least played it really well. She landed a flash cocoon. And after I got that kill, it just like game over for them. Anyway, um, I'm going to queue up again and try to find the game to play.